Hi, my name is Bria Hosier, and I'm from the University of Reno, Nevada, and I would like to talk to you today about the sun and how it can affect you. I would like for you to think back to when you may have had a sunburn in the past and think of how that may have affected you. How does it feel? It hurts, right? So let's learn how to keep ourselves safe from, the, from sunburns in the future. First, some fun facts about the sun. Light from the sun reaches us in eight minutes, and the sun is 93.1 mil million miles away. That's pretty fast to have having to go 93.1 million miles. The sun's rays are so powerful that the light it produces can reach 262 feet down into the ocean. 262 feet is almost as long as a football field. The sun may be 4.6 billion years old, and scientists think that the sun could live another 4.6 billion years more. Even though light seems to be without color, sunlight actually has every color in the rainbow in it. And the color purple is the color I would want to talk about today. The sun's rays have many colors, but the color purple is where the harmful UV ray radiation exists. UV stands for ultraviolet light. We call it ultraviolet light because it comes from the purple part of the light. And purple is oftentimes called violet. UV radiation does not come from, from the heat of the sun or its brightness. UVA rays is what causes wrinkles. UVB rays is what causes sunburn. And UVC rays do not harm us because they cannot get to our atmosphere. So how do we protect ourselves from radiation? Know what the UV index is and check, check it often. UV index is like a ruler that measures the level of radiation throughout the day. So level green, one and two, means low danger. Three to five means moderate risk. 6 to 7 means high risk, and 8 to 10 means very high risk. 11 or more means extreme risk. My rule of thumb is to wear sunscreen from levels yellow 3 and up. You can find the UV index online, or there's even apps for your phone that you can download, and so you can have easy access to checking the UV index. Another way to protect yourself, if you don't have the UV index at your fingertips, you can check your shadow by knowing the shadow rule. The shadow rule is an easy way to tell how much UV exposure you're getting, and that is to look at your shadow. For instance, if your shadow is taller than you are in the early morning or in the late afternoon, your UV exposure is likely to be lower. If your shadow is shorter than you are during lunchtime, you're being exposed to higher levels of UV radiation. Now that we have learned what the UV radiation is, let's learn how it can affect our skin. First, why is our skin important? The skin is the largest organ of the human body. An adult can carry around about 8 pounds or 22 square feet of skin. That's the size of a small swimming pool. This fleshy covering does, not, does a lot more than just make us look presentable. In fact, without it, we'd literally evaporate. Our skin maintains our temperature. It keeps us warm in the cold and guards our body against extremes of temperature. The skin produces vitamin D. Vitamin D helps us keep our bones and our teeth healthy. The skin acts as a protective barrier. It has an antimicrobial substance that helps prevent infection. The skin is also made up of three layers, the epidermis, the dermis, and the subcutaneous layer. So as you can see in this picture, the UVA and UVB rays that we learned about previously are penetrating down into our skin. 
And this is what causes sunburns and wrinkles and long-term damage that can cause your skin and your body to become sick. So what can we do to protect ourselves from UV radiation even further? Well, be sun smart. So what do you think being sun smart means? I would like to teach you a fun way to remember the ways of being sun smart. The sun smart and the five S's. So you slip on a long sleeve t-shirt, you slop on lots of sunscreen, you slap on a wide brim hat, you seek shade, and slide on your favorite pair of sunglasses that have UV protection in the lenses. Because even your eyes can get sunburned. So now that we know what the five S's are, let's see what this guy is missing. What should he be doing to be sun smart? Well, he's missing sunglasses, a hat, a wide brim hat, a long sleeve shirt. He's probably not wearing sunscreen because he looks pretty tan. And he should be near shade, right? The following characteristics that make someone at greater risk for skin damage are if you have light skin, light hair and eyes, you need to take extra protection from the sun. For instance, like Ginny here from Harry Potter, she's a great example of a person with all these characteristics that put someone at greater risk. The number of moles that you have. If you're born with a lot of moles on your skin, your skin needs extra protection from the sun because you're at a greater risk. If your parents or grandparents have had a skin illness, then you need to pay more attention to your skin. So ask your family to see if they have had any skin illness and to be extra careful to be some smart. Why am I here teaching this to you today? I would like to share a bit of my story. A few years ago, my skin got very sick. I had to go to special doctors to have, to have two surgeries to make my skin better. Because of the surgeries, I have an injury on my leg that will be with me the rest of my life. Even though I am better, I still have to see doctors often to make sure I stay well and the sun played a major role in my illness. This is why I made this presentation. I hope my story will help you take steps to keep your skin healthy. Here are some closing facts that I would think is important for us to all to know. The S SPF number on the bottle. That means sun protection factor. This has to do with time, not power. The number of minutes it takes to, to burn times the number on the bottle. For example, if you burn after 10 minutes of sun exposure, like fair skinned people do, an SPF of 15 will allow you to be in the sun for up to 150 minutes without burning. Also, cloudy weather. You can still get sunburnt when there's clouds outside, and cloudy weather can even intensify UV radiation, so you still need to wear sunscreen. And the winter. Just because summer is gone and winter has arrived, it does not mean you have you stop wearing sunscreen. Wear sunscreen all year round because the sun's rays reflect off the water, off the snow, or off all reflective surfaces. Thank you.